My player of the game is Jose Urquidy. He punched out seven guys tonight, as we talked about, and I just mentioned, by the way, that first inning. I think the play of the game happened in that first inning. Who says the play of the game can't happen in the first? Not me. I'm certainly not saying that. That punch out got the crowd into it. It got him out of it without a run. I know I've talked a lot about how important that first inning is, but if if Jorge Soler gets a hit there, who's one of, one of the hot guys for the Braves, starts off the game with a homer yesterday, this game changes, in my opinion. He gets out of it. The crowd's rolling. He punched out three guys in that inning. The first four outs of the game for him were strikeouts, and he ends up striking out seven. But what's important to me and really important in the game that doesn't show up in the box score and that not a lot of people will, will talk about because you don't see it is what's called a shutdown inning. And you hear it all the time. I played this game for a long time. I was in a lot of baseball dugouts. When a team scores runs, you hear it from everybody. You hear it from the coaches. Hey, shut down inning right here. Shut down inning right here. We need it from you. When the team scores a run, it is so important to go back out there that next inning and not give up a run. And Jose Arquiti was great at that tonight, punched out seven, and he is my player of the game for the Astros tonight. Let's get some questions on this one. Who's up first? We have Greg. Can the Astros starters continue to give them five-plus innings? <sighs> Look, this was a key to, key to the series for me. Uh, and we talked about this in the World Series preview that I did. What can you get from the Astros pitching? What can you get from these starters? Can you get what you got tonight from Urquidy? Or are they going to get what you got from, from Rivaldez in game one? You don't really know with this team. It's kind, of, it's kind of hit or miss. This team doesn't have the Justin Verlanders, the Garrett Coles. They don't have those guys that you know what you're going to get. So a lot of this team depends on what you get from these starters. So can you count on them to go five-plus innings? No. I don't think you can. But we're going to need it. You're going to need it. This Braves team is really good. So, I, honestly, look for this going forward. If the Astros starters go five-plus innings, I think they win that game. If the Astros starter throws less than five innings, I think the Braves win that game. We'll see going forward. My predictions have been hot. Let's see if that one come, comes hot. Let's see if we got another question here. What is next? This one comes from Michael. Who is the number one on this Astros rotation now? <laughs> That's a great question. You know, I, I honestly thought coming into this series, I would have told you that it's Fromber because of what he did in the ALCS. You know what? I'm still going to take him. I'm going to do it. I'm going to take him. I'm going to take Fromber Valdez. I know he didn't have a great game one start, but we saw that in the ALCS. He didn't have a great first start, but what did he do? He bounced back. He gave this team a must um, a must-win game, and in a must-win game, he gave them a fantastic start. So you know what? I'm going to say Fromber is the number one on this team right now, obviously with Lance McCullers being out. I'm going to take Fromber um, and, and look for him in the coming game that he starts. I don't know what game it's going to be. I think it largely depends on what happens the first two games in, in Atlanta. But he's still the guy. So I think his next start, he's going to come out and dominate, and his sinker is going to be breaking bats, and his curveball is going to be punching guys out. He's a stud. And when he executes, his stuff is as good as anybody's. So I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to take Fromber as the number one starter in this rotation. But this Astros team is more than just the rotation. This Astros team in the postseason, honestly, has been saved by this bullpen. And I want to talk about this Houston Astros bullpen because you even look back to what they did in the ALCS, they get them through it. But, but tonight, game two, right here behind me, we saw how dominant they were. They come in after Urquidy, who had a great start, and they throw four innings with no runs. This Astros bullpen wasn't supposed to be a bright spot, but we've seen them time and time again save them. The ALCS, they save this, this Astros team. They didn't give up a, they didn't give up a run after game, you know, starting in game four, the Astros bullpen didn't give up a run. So this Astros bullpen that's not talked about much continues to be so clutch. Honestly, hats off to, to the Astros for the, the moves they made at the trade deadline. They weren't talked about much. They weren't the sexiest moves in the world, if you will, but they're working right now. This Astros team is rolling, and it's in big part because of those moves. Kendall Graveman getting it done in the bullpen. Yimmy Garcia getting it done in the bullpen. 
So hats off to the Astros bullpen for everything they've done up to this point, but specifically tonight, a big reason they win this game too. Four innings of shutout ball. So hats off to the Astros bullpen. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3-0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213-537-9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest, and we have a lot of fun, so hit that subscribe button.